it may be crystal, you know this, if I just have one neuron, mm -hmm. and I want to know what it does in response to stimuli, do I like go with a spoon and take out a neuron and put it on a petri dish, or? You, you could. <laughs> what does one do if one were a competent neuroscientist? Well, um, what you're really looking at is the electrochemical changes within that neuron. So you can look at um, the way that uh, the electrical impulse is moving within the cell, or you can measure chemical output. Like, um, the really cool thing about neurons is that um, when you're talking about signals within the cell, you're talking about electric impulses, right, and okay. then when they talk to each other, they use molecules and chemicals to do that. So you have an electrical signal, and then it turns into molecules and little chem like chemical neurotransmitters, like serotonin, for instance. And then that talks to the other the other cell, and then that gets converted back into an electrical impulse that like shoots down the cell. So you can you can study how that electricity is moving within mm -hmm. the cell, or you can study um, the degree of neurotransmitter release or the degree of chemical communication between. Right two cells. And so obviously I'm a molecular neuroscientist, not an electrophysiologist, so, so. my interest is in the chemical communication. All right, very yeah. good. So I'm sure that what we'd love to do is just to have, you know, put someone in a box and be able to home in on every neuron individually and watch how it responds. So I don't. We can't. Well, I don't. <laughs> you don't even want to be able to do that? No. No, because then you're going to lose a lot of the activity. Like you need to understand yeah. that also a lot of this is not just what each individual neuron says are things that are emerging from the interactions of these neurons. If you take that reductionist approach and go neuron by neuron, you're going to lose a lot of yeah. this stuff. Well, what, so what do you want to get? What is, the, what, is, what is the box that you would like to have into which you can put your patient and you can get out whatever information you want about what their brain is doing? I'd like to have a box where I could track everything, let's say do any kind of stimulation, right, right. that you're interested in, an image, a sound, whatever, and I can see from the individual neurons how the information goes from them into a population of neurons, how those communicate with the broader population, which different brain areas get excited, which the whole overall pattern of the brain is, and then the behavior that comes out of it. Right? Right. If you can follow this whole path, that's what we all ideally would like to see. 